Neck, very functional, very 1964. <laughs> so we're gonna hook it up, and you can see better in the daylight how this mount, as you might see in the previous video, how this mount here gets put in from this point to this point. But I can take it out, set it up front, and then use a gooseneck. So this truck can do be dual purpose and at a cost almost nothing. So this trailer here is going to be a trailer used for generator fuel you name it it's got a very expensive aluminum tank in it we're going to be actually converting to a fuel tank uh, 44 gallons has five lug nice easy 3500 pound axles um, some good usable parts coming out of it including this which i've got broken on my old winnebago and that'll work there real heavy duty bumper in the rear um, pretty shit canned <laughs> pretty trashy so I'll give you an idea here what this 1964 fifth wheel gooseneck gooseneck looks like I don't want to get the uh, vehicle aficionados to cuss me out for saying fifth wheel so in here it is a genuine POS trashed not much salvageable um pretty much most of this will all end up just being scrap metal in the scrap metal pile um nice little plug there's the big hobson 44 gallon tank they used to use air pressure on these way back in the day and it's it's a rot out so frame wise though it's got a hell of a frame so you know they make a fifth wheel with a much stronger frame than a travel trailer back in here crappy little shower back there could be some salvageable parts for somebody building a little camper and everywhere else it's just just trash really so we're going to be taking this thing here will be converted to where it has a huge propane tank a generator fuel tanks batteries power storage everything you need when you pull up to a site home site to run everything and then up here in the top might be an actual sleeping quarters uh, we don't know yet I ain't figured what I want but it don't have very many miles on it and you can tell that by the lack of chips rock chips being thrown up at it from vehicles um, the guy had it for years didn't use it very often so I guess uh, the next step now is we're going to hook it up to that gooseneck I made for under 20 bucks grand total of $16.90 actually and we're gonna haul this thing off and it is actually in pretty good shape so very good structural very sound we'll be removing these to make a double scissor jack when I have those for jacking it up to uh, make it a lot easier because I've got those are actually battery powered and they'll come down at the same time and pretty good setup but there it is, the old beast, the old beast. 1964, give y'all a quick walk around again here. 1964 brand is a F-I-N-E, fine travel trailers. Doesn't matter, got a good frame. Nice, big, solid, thick, heavy frame. So we'll be building, even got some skid bars on it, so. All right, we'll be watching for this one, short video, but figured I'd give you an update on what we were looking at. Kind of tall. Y'all stay tuned.